Class of 2027, rise. The sense of appreciation that I, that I had for that moment uh, is really deep. And it was just fun to see my daughter take the leap to, uh, to, to step into this institution and everything that it represents. You certainly see a transformation in the kids that we recruit, but I've known this kid since, since the beginning. And to see how she's transformed in just a short year at this institution is, is remarkable. So can we get amp up? Do we understand? of playing time, <laughs> pay attention to her. It's kind of that moment where you kiss their childhood goodbye, you know, and, uh, and that's, there's sadness, there's joy, um, there's curiosity of what's next, uh, the hope, all the emotions that a parent would feel, um, but your, your job is almost, almost done as a parent at that moment, you know, and you hand her off to, to this great place. The kids grew up here, this was their playground. They followed Navy swimmers and Navy athletes like I followed Reggie Jackson and Dave Winfield of the New York Yankees when I was a kid. In Jackson's case, you know, one of the first things he did on the pool deck was get baptized, uh, actually right over here. That was uh, fall 03. My new team, the Navy men's swimming and diving team, coupled with my previous team, Colgate uh, Swimming and Diving, were all present for this uh, incredible moment. So very cool to say the least that he ended up here. Avery's been fantastic on deck with us. She's, uh, she's our team manager. Yeah, she would uh, follow me on deck and uh, with a little stopwatch as we were walking, walking up and down the pool deck watching the women. Uh, she was able to come to all of our meets. She sang the national anthem for us at, at our, our meets. That's why I love this place is uh, to see midshipmen grow so quickly over four years to be, to mature. Uh, beyond any other college. It's just been a, a phenomenal experience. And I think she felt that. Um, I, I think she felt that our women were more mature than most of the other uh, schools that she was looking at. She embraced that opp opportunity to lead and learn and, and grow. We've seen multiple generations of graduates go through here. So I know he's, he's going to get a great education. I know he's going to be well taken care of while he's here. There's, gonna, there's, there's people that are looking out for him and I know he's going to form some incredible bonds. It's a place where you have to be all in, you know, to be at your best. And when she initially told me she was interested, I did everything I could to talk her out of it because I think that's an important step in the process. I wanted her to understand everything that she was up against uh, because I wanted her to truly make this decision to come here for the right reasons. And um, deep down inside, I wanted her here because I knew, knew what this place can do for her and I knew she would thrive here, but, uh, but really I wanted to make certain that it was the right place for her, and uh, it turns out it was. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we have lunch almost every day, or we see each other during the lunch hour each day, and when she doesn't show up, I miss her. She does help us on the, in the lacrosse program, does a great job with our nutrition and helping Bailey, and, and I knew deep down inside that this place would, would, would help change her life and transform her into the young woman that the world deserves. The lesson learned is if uh, parents, if you want your child to come to Navy, just get them baptized here in Lejeune Hall. <laughs>